Hi, I'm Dr. Chen Wen Liu. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about the incision on, for a knee replacement. I'm an orthopedic surgeon from Adelaide, South Australia. I work at Orthopedics 360, and I specialize just in hip and knee replacement surgery. The incision on a knee replacement can be sometimes critical to the function of a knee. About four years ago, I changed the incision of my knee replacements. Prior to that, I was doing the standard knee replacement incision. What that was, was a midline incision going straight down the middle of the knee that we use to access the actual knee itself. Underneath the skin, the incision to the deeper layers of the knee go alongside the muscle tendons and ligaments and are on this side or inner aspect of the knee. This is called a medial parapetella approach. Now, whilst the inside layer has not been changed due to my approach, we have changed the outer layer. The key difference with the approach to the knee that has changed over the years is the fact that I now place my skin incision very lateral on the knee. This looks like a curved incision that curves around the knee. The reason for the change is that we place the incision in that location to decrease the pain when a patient kneels on the knee. And we have actually found that it has increased the ability for our patients to kneel comfortably after the surgery. Whether or not this may make a difference or not for you is something that you should consider and ask your surgeon about before you have a knee replacement. The lateral skin incision has been something that I've found to enhance the overall aesthetic and functional aspects of a knee replacement. What it allows us to do is to place the incision off of the midline. Aesthetically, because it is not a straight incision down the middle of the knee, it is something that does tend to hide within the skin folds of the knee and is certainly not as noticeable after the operation has fully healed. The healing time for an incision is, whilst it will seal within a few weeks after the surgery, can take between six to 12 months to completely fade to its bare minimum. After that, it should be just a very thin white line on the outer aspect of the knee. Because we're placing it on the outside aspect of the knee, it is something that when you kneel on the knee, you do not place any pressure directly on the wound. Some of my patients have asked why we don't place the incision on the inside of the knee, close to where we access the deeper layers of the knee. The reason is for the nerve supply to the knee skin itself. All of the nerves go from inside to outside on the knee. And because of this, we opt to place the incision as further down the track, down the nerve pathway as we can, in order to reduce the size of the numb patch that arises after a knee replacement. With an incision that is on the medial aspect of the knee, there is a larger skin area which goes numb compared to a skin incision that is on the outer aspect of the knee. And whilst all skin incisions will end up with a small area of numbness after the surgery, we find that with a lateral skin incision, the area is smaller. Now, whilst I said before that our main reason is for kneeling, that's certainly the case. And although our patients can kneel a lot more comfortably than they used to on the incisions that I was performing straight down the middle of the knee, it is still a bit uncomfortable to kneel on very hard concrete or surfaces such as gravel or anything else that may be uncomfortable to the knee replacement. Now, it's not because you're going to damage the knee replacement underneath, but because the soft tissue is a little bit hypersensitive after you have placed an incision onto it. So some of our patients like to wear a knee pad when kneeling on very hard surfaces. It is to be expected that you should be able to kneel on soft surfaces like the bed, the couch, carpet, and grass. However, anything beyond that is a bit of a bonus, and some of our patients, although they can kneel on harder surfaces, find it more comfortable with a kneeling pad or knee pad. I hope that answers your questions about whether or not you can kneel on the knee, but also why we place our skin incision on the outer aspect of the knee. It's something that we've only picked up in the last probably four to five years, and certainly it does not change the underlying knee replacement underneath, but it's just one of those little enhancements which I feel has made a reasonably good difference to some of my patients already. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to follow us for more information about hip and knee replacements, please do not hesitate to follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Thanks for listening and I'll see you next time.